Hello, welcome to the Monday, August 7th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier took a look at whether or not the credentials found in these leak credential dumps are actually being used by attackers. And well, it turns out, yes, they are. In order to investigate, Xavier took a look at his own mail server and looked at any rejected logins that showed up in some of these recent credential dumps that Xavier collected. So this is not the complete, I think now 12 billion a long list from like uh, have I been pwned but a smaller list that Xavier looked at it wasn't as he pointed out a super high quality list either but uh, well attackers they grab what they can find and uh, give it a try and uh, sometimes it apparently works for them but the lesson for the defender here is that you really have to be proactive about these leak credentials and uh, check uh, if you do find some of these credential dumps, whether any of your users are included. And if so, double check that these credentials are not used in any of your systems. And if you're using the paper cut print management software, be aware there is another vulnerability out there that can lead to a remote code execution. Similar to prior vulnerabilities in paper cut, this is a file upload vulnerability that then leads to remote code execution. Essentially, the attacker can sort of upload a web shell. According to Horizon 3, who found this vulnerability, exploitation of this new vulnerability is more complex, so we may have more time until a public working exploit is out there. Horizon 3 does not really provide any details here, so they're not helping the attackers uh, with any details how to exploit this new vulnerability. The CVE for the new vulnerability is 2023-39143. The old vulnerability that has widely been exploited is 2023-27350. And again, given that history, it's likely that we'll see some exploitation for this new vulnerability in the near future. So that's why you probably should prioritize patching paper cut. And Microsoft uh, fixed, I should say, fixed again a vulnerability in its uh, power platform. The problem here was custom connectors. They could be used uh, to leak uh, data from other subscribers uh, to the power platform uh, service. This vulnerability was originally discovered in March by Tenable. Microsoft did apply an initial fix beginning of June, but well then Tenable looked closer and early July figured out that the actual fix deployed here wasn't sufficient, that there were workarounds for it. So Microsoft now hopefully fixed it completely. You may have also heard uh, Tenable sort of uh, calling out uh, Microsoft over the problem here uh, with getting uh, this particular vulnerability fixed. Uh, sadly, with Azure, we had sort of a number of uh, these uh, cross-tenant vulnerabilities, which of course are always uh, critical issues for cloud providers as they sort of undermine this assumption that your workloads are isolated from other organization's workloads if you put them in the cloud. An important response to some of these security issues around uh, Microsoft's uh, cloud offerings, Microsoft also offered a token theft playbook, which I think sounds like pretty good. The idea here is that when you're dealing with cloud services, you often deal with uh, tokens uh, for authentication. After the user authenticates, they then receive a token. And then this token is being used uh, to continue to authenticate the user. The problem here is, and that's not a Microsoft specific uh, problem, but no matter how complex your authentication, like if you're doing multi-factor and such, once an attacker gets the token, that all really doesn't matter anymore. So identifying stolen tokens and then also being able to mitigate any problems arising from a stolen token is important. So 
definitely uh, take a look at this uh, playbook, which hopefully should help you identify and then also respond to any token theft issues. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening. Remember, tomorrow patch Tuesday. And other than that, thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.